Hello, today we're going to be talking about present simple. Present simple, how to form it, and then we'll also talk about how to use it and which situations are most appropriate to use it. First, let's talk about the form. If I have these pronouns here, I, you, we, they, present simple is very easy to form because we just use the verb. We don't have to change it in any way. And that's great. It's a little more tricky with the negative, with these pronouns. I use don't plus the verb or do not plus the verb to form the present simple. Let's look at some examples. For example, first, if I say I eat and I want to make that negative, I do not eat. For you drive, if I want to make that negative, you don't drive, or I could say do not, either way. And then we drink, we don't drink to form the negative, and they study, and the negative, they don't study. With present simple, though, there is one trick that is very confusing to students, and it's when we're trying to form the third person singular. And that's when we would be using he, she, it, or a person's name, or a thing that is singular. And in those situations, what I need to do is put an S on the verb. This is very confusing for a lot of students because when they think about putting an S at the end of the word, they're thinking about nouns. And when we make a noun plural, we add an S. However, with verbs, a singular verb has an S. So it's the opposite. So with third person singular, where the pronoun is he, she, or it, in present simple, or if it's a name, or if it's a thing that's singular, we're going to add an S to the verb. Let's look at some examples here. These are, first I have I eat, and then if I change it to she, it becomes she eats. I need that S on the verb. I drive, and it becomes he drives with the S, and I smell, becomes it smells with the S at the end of the verb. We also need to have that S whenever we use negative for third person, singular. So if the subject is he, she, it, a name, or a thing that's singular, and we want to make it negative, then we use doesn't plus the verb. One thing you'll notice, doesn't, D-O-E-S, in apostrophe T, or it could be does plus not, does not. And then we have the verb. So you notice the verb does not have the S anymore. The S moved to doesn't. Let's look at some examples. He eats, she doesn't eat. She drives, he doesn't drive, and it flies, he doesn't fly. Now that we've looked at how to form present simple, let's talk about the different ways we use present simple in sentences. The first use is when we're talking about a general statement of fact or truth. These are things that are just always true. Okay, let's look at the first sentence. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. I have water, which is a singular noun, and boils is my verb. Notice I put the S there because it's third person singular. So water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, and we would use present simple to show that's a general statement of fact. Here, the Kansas City area has 1.5 million people. We have the area and then the verb 
has. We use present symbol because that's just a fact about Kansas City. Has is the verb. It's a form of have, but we change it to has because it's third person singular. My subject is area. The last sentence here, it doesn't snow in the summer in Kansas City. I have the subject it and then doesn't snow. That's negative and I use doesn't because it's third person singular rather than don't. And this is a, just a statement of fact which is one of the uses of present simple. Another use of present simple is with everyday activities, our habits, our routines. So for example, let's look at this first sentence. I eat breakfast every day. I use present simple in this situation because it's an everyday activity. She usually drives to work. Um, with this one, usually marks that it's a repeating activity. It's a routine. So we use present simple. You'll also notice the S on drives because my subject is she, third person singular. And the last one, they never smoke cigarettes. Never gives the idea of their habits, but it's a habit they don't have. So with never, we usually use present simple. Now, to for our habits and things we usually do, we have certain words that uh, we use to mark that. And I have a, a short list here. So going from the most often to the least, we have always, usually, frequently, often, give the idea of something happening more. Sometimes is right in the middle, and then occasionally, rarely, seldom, however, our words we show that something doesn't happen very often and then never is zero percent of the time. I hope you enjoyed learning about present simple, how we form it and then how we use it in different sentences. Thank you very much.